Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft on the Kingcraft server. Hope you all had an excellent holiday season. I definitely did and we obviously did here on the server as well. We've got a couple pretty exciting things going on today. The first of which being you may or may not notice a difference in audio quality of my commentary today. That is because I got a pretty sweet Christmas gift in the form of a blue Yeti microphone which is an incredible upgrade from the blue snowball I've been using since I started doing YouTube, if for no other reason than it has a mute button, which would have come in handy countless occasions uh, before now. And it's also got a gain knob on the back that I can uh, dial up and down, and I think I've tuned out the majority of the background fan noise that has been in my commentary. Uh, but we're only going to get so much of an improvement because it's still my stupid voice going into it. Um, but I'm really happy with it so far. I think uh, I'm going to enjoy using it. And I haven't messed around with any uh, editing in actual audio software, just messing around with the settings on the microphone. So may be able to get it even better than this. But for now, I'm really happy with it. Secondly, let's talk about this thing, and you may know where I'm going with this based on the title of the video. You may have noticed we haven't spent a whole lot of time out here actually working on the base, and that is because I have zero inspiration to do anything out here. When I started this, the goal was to build a big, cool looking castle, and I think I accomplished that. I'm super happy with the way it turned out, and as a builder, I think this is one of the more visually impressive things I've ever put together. But as far as being a base goes, uh, somewhere that I'm, you know, living out of and spending the majority of my time, it's really just not working for me. When you think back to the past two seasons of Kingcraft, we did the uh, Wild West base and the Jungle base. And with both of those builds, they kind of expanded outwards as a new need arose so each piece of those bases had a specific purpose with this I built the whole thing at once and I'm faced with the task of fitting the things I need into an existing build as opposed to creating a space for a specific purpose themed to that purpose which is what I I prefer to do um, so I think what we're going to do is pack this baby up and, you know, start a new base. <laughs> uh, and something else we've talked about recently on the server, uh, we've experienced a little bit of a revival in activity on the server recently, which is pretty exciting. Uh, but something we've talked about recently is that spawn has pretty much looked the exact same since we got to leave the uh, spawn island uh, six or seven months ago. So I think what I want to do is uh, not necessarily move back to spawn, but definitely move closer to spawn because the walk between this base and spawn, even through the nether, is kind of ridiculous. So we're going to move closer to spawn so we can spend more time there and, uh, you know, do more projects at spawn like the, the zoo project. And we'll do some more work at the theme park than we've been doing. And, you know, just build up spawn and spend more time with the other guys. Uh, so let's head back towards spawn right now. Hello, old spawn base. Looking fabulous as always. So I think what our plan's going to be is just head directly out from spawn in this direction and see whatever mainland I hit first. Uh, there's going to be some small islands like this because we uh, placed the big main island in the middle of an ocean in MC Edit, but we've still got some of these little islands. So whatever mainland I hit first is where we will set up. Land ho! I found it. Looks like it's an Extreme Hills biome. I've never built in an Extreme Hills biome before. Voice crack again, that's fine. Uh, so this could be interesting. Let's hop up here and see what all we've got to work with. Uh, I liked some of this, uh, the land formations I saw when I was 
paddling up. How can I get up here? Oh, yeah. This is nice. I like these flat areas between the, uh, the spires that go up. And we've got a taiga back here. There's lots of spruce wood. What else have we got here? We got cows. Cows are good. We can set up an early, uh, well, I guess cows are kind of in-game food. Excuse you. Move. <laughs> oh, I'm hilarious. Hi, Zell. Ooh, I like this. Got like a little cove going on here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that's fine. Uh, that's a little weird. We'll probably need to go up there. We are... We're only... Like a thousand blocks from spawn out here. So we probably need to walk around a little bit and make sure we're not encroaching on anyone's existing base. But if not, I am A-OK -okay with this. Oh my! This might not be the best place to stand during a thunderstorm. Oh dear. Uh, but I've done a little bit of wandering around the area. Oh my goodness, you are so rude. Uh, where is it? Weather? Is there weather? There's weather. Uh, I've done a little bit of wandering around the area and haven't seen any other signs of life, so I think we're good to go. How are you not shushed? Alright, everything be quiet. Um... As far as an idea for a base goes, just with the geography, uh, I'm thinking I definitely want to use villagers out here. That's something I haven't messed with in a while. I want to have a little town in this area since we've got like some natural protection. Uh, I think I want to shear that little bit off there and have a wall that connects these two uh, mountains here and have like a little smuggler's village and we'll have a series of tunnels that kind of run through the mountain uh, and we've got some cool like little natural port areas in here so we might do some ships I've I haven't done much with boats before so that might be something fun to do and we can have some big like guard towers up here on the hills that could be fun I don't really know I'm open to suggestions that's just that's that's what I'm feeling from this this geography here so, while this setup looks wonderful, uh, I think it's probably time we get some kind of structure going out here so we can move this stuff inside. I don't think I placed down quite enough logs here. Uh, I've just been messing around here in my creative world trying to come up with a build style for this new area. And I've done these staged kind of buildings before with the kind of the smaller bottom and it gets wider on the top and I thought I would try and do something a little bit different and pile logs up in the corners uh, that makes it look a little bit more primitive but it just doesn't feel right I feel like I could probably edit it a little bit and make it better but then I got to thinking about where we're at we're in that extreme hills biome and we've got that really good vertical space and we're talking about like a smuggler town so what if I think much simpler and go more vertical with it huh <laughs> I kinda like it it's not we're not dealing with flat surfaces so we can build with the like the contour of the hills and I think it'll look really cool like stacked vertically like this uh, we can bring them further uh, towards the front there and stack more like more more vertically than this this is kind of a little bit steeper of an angle not steeper less steep um, I think this will look really cool on a large scale and if we cover like all of the interior of that um, that little cove area I think this will look really cool so I think we're gonna go with this this here is something I've seen B double O do for his doors you got a little trap door on the inside and you can place the banner on it and it just looks like one of those like a, a cloth door oh like that 
that's kind of cool it adds a little pop of color in the middle of all this gray i like this i'm going to try this out and see what it looks like on a little bit of a larger scale all right guys so i've done a little bit of building here around what was an existing waterfall we had coming out of the side of this cliff and i used our little lines of houses to kind of shape it which is pretty cool and let's see if I can fly down here. This is going to be fail mode. Uh, 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 okay. Yep. It's still going. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is actually my second time recording this. And believe it or not, the first time went worse. <laughs> uh, but I'm really happy with the way these look. I really like this really simplistic color palette. I just said really twice in the same sentence. I took all the flowers out I got from bone mealing it because I really just want this gray, green, and brown. Um, and the color we'll get will come just from the environment. Uh, but I like the way the posts contrast with the stone. That looks really nice. And I love the way the grass looks on top of these roofs. Uh, but in building this little section here, we learned something about this build style. With this side, I started right here. And I started maybe five blocks out from the, the bottom of the hill here just to leave enough room for this first story. But there's a kind of a specific slope with these builds. So you can't really build uh, with this particular existing slope. I only got up maybe three stories before I smacked into the side of the hill there. Um, so in the future, we're gonna have to start further out. Uh, there was a hill. Uh, yeah, if you look right here, this is kind of the natural slope of this build style. Um, and we're not dealing with that over here, especially right here. We're going to have to come up with some other ideas. Um, but I think what we've got over here will work really nicely here. This has got more of a gradual slope. So we can we can use this. It'll just have to uh, be strategically placed. Um, but yeah, it, it kind of worked out to my benefit. I like the way this uh, like cliff face sticks out of the builds, and I got to tuck a few little ones. Uh, there was a little like U shape up here in the mountain, so I stuck one up there, and I tucked a little one right in there. Uh, and that one was specifically to shape the top of this waterfall coming down. And we've got another wall right here to help help the flow of it coming down. Uh, and this place looks really cool at night because I've got torches in each of the little windows. Uh, we've only got a couple doors so far. I'm not sure how I'm going to do like pathing or stairways or if I'm going to do any kind of stairs to be able to access the, the upper levels. But because of the way this place looks at night, I think I'm going to challenge myself to not use torches or light anywhere out here except for inside buildings so that'll make the nighttime a little or when it rains a little more interesting um got my little tree farm here uh, but i'm really happy with the way this looks this is going to be the style for the entire base out here uh, we'll just have to modify this kind of thing to fit in different uh slope variations um but I think since we're dealing with some rain right now and the night is approaching, we will cut it a little bit short today. Um, if you have any suggestions of stuff I could do with this, oh dear, <laughs> with this kind of style, let me know and I will do my best to include it out here. Yep, we need to go. <laughs> so that's going to be it for today. Hope you enjoyed and we will see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.